What is up guys? Gian here of Gadget Filipinas. Back once again for another video. We are now at the 11th iteration of the Huawei Nova series. Huawei has been growing this series since 2018 and it looks like it's going to continue moving forward. Maraming loyal fans ang series na to, no? kaya naman laging sold out each time Huawei launches a new one. Now, if you've been following our videos, the Huawei Nova series uh, usually carries no, flagship features that were initially introduced in Huawei flagship devices like the Mate and P series. Patalas kong banggitin yan in my previous videos. Now, in this new iteration of the Nova series, you'll realize that each phone has flagship features carried from other Huawei devices. 60 megapixel ultra ported dual cam on the Nova 11 Pro, which I think is one of the best no, in the industry. 50 megapixel front ultra wide ported camera and selfie on the Nova 11 and 16 megapixel selfie camera and Huawei supercharged turbo on the Nova 11i. There is a Nova that fits your needs and your budget at ito ang mga pag-uusapan natin sa video na to. Let us first talk about the Huawei Nova 11 Pro. Ito ang pinaka mataas na variant ng series and it carries all the hand-me-down features from popular flagship smartphones like the Huawei Mate and P series. Tingnan nyo naman tong specs ito. No? In fact, majority of the things I'll be talking about in this video is this particular variant. It also borrows some hints of the design of the P60 Pro with its star orbit ring design. It also has some hints of the Huawei Mate 50 Vegan Leather Edition. Both color options of the Nova 11 Pro uh, feature a Nova monogram vegan leather design. Kita kita nyo naman, no? They've used some top-notch leather as well paired with a lychee grain pattern. This combo not only feels amazing to touch, honestly, but also withstands drops and daily wear. They've plastered the classic Nova monogram logos all over the back cover using some clever tricks from different industries. Of course, before I forget, no, the Nova 11 Pro also packs a display with Kunlun glass protection thanks to Huawei's research and technology which makes it resistant to drops. Boy, na buhay. My flagship appeal ang Nova 11 Pro pa, no? and very stylish rin siya. Pero ang highlight sa lahat ng ito ay ang camera specs and feature ng phone na ito. You have a 50 megapixel RYYB Ultra Vision rear facing camera and it has a 60, tandaan nyo ha, 60 megapixel Ultra Vision dual camera in front. Take note yan. Dual camera ang harap and may 60 megapixel camera para hindi mo na kailangan mag Gen Z selfies to take high quality selfies. Another best way to maximize this is also for vlogging. Kung mahilig ka mag-shoot ng vlogs even with the front facing camera, I really feel that the Nova 11 Pro is the right fit for you. I know you're interested sa mga bago niyang features. No? Let me list it down for you. XD Portrait is now available on both front and rear cameras. Mas mabilis na rin siyang mag-focus and that's because of the QPD Full Pixel Precise Focus. Much improved na rin ang low-light photography niya using both front and rear camera. Lahat na nakikita niyong sample shots ngayon are taken with the front camera. What XD Portrait does is it enhances the portrait by smartly processing highlight and shadows. Nakakatulong ito no, sa quality ng range ng photo by contrasting light at saka ng shadow, creating a sense of depth no, and dimensionality sa mga photos mo. Sa madaling salita, hindi mo kang flat no, yung selfie mo no, with the Nova 11 Pro. Kung dati, available lang yan sa rear camera, ngayon, available na rin siya sa selfie camera. Ngayon, meron din ito na beauty effects no, para kung gusto mo ma-improve pa lalo no, yung quality ng face mo, pwede rin yan on this phone. Kaya rin itong i-preserve yung kulay ng makeup no, ng face nyo if applied one. This is important especially when using AI dahil sa ibang phones, AI and makeup applied on face don't usually go together. With the Huawei Nova 11 Pro, it can distinguish makeup, restoring original look when you take that selfie shot. Alam ko, marami sa inyo ang may gusto ng features na yan. At bakit naman hindi, di ba? Lastly, the Nova 11 Pro also has the ideal focal length for portrait, which is 50mm. Pero syempre, if you want to take groupies, it supports 100-degree ultra-wide angle shots with its sensor with 4K quality support. This flexibility makes the front cameras a must-have for many occasions. 
And kung gusto mo ng high quality groupies, you can zoom out to 0.7x no, to maximize its wide angle capabilities. And if you want to take some close up selfie shots, you can zoom in up to five times. Again, there's no need anymore for you to do that Gen Z selfie with the rear camera because you can do it entirely on the front camera instead. Nova 11 Pro, however, still rocks an amazing rear camera. It still packs a 50 megapixel ultra vision camera, which is ideal for taking crisp and detailed portrait photos even in the dark, landscape, and night shots to help you preserve every moment in your life. And for those of you na mabilis tumaas ang anxiety level kapag ka paubos na ang battery, no, kagaya ko, no, the Huawei Nova 11 Pro features Huawei Supercharge Turbo 100 watts no, that can charge the phone to 60% in 10 minutes. So parang ay, iwan mo yung phone mo no, na nag-charge and it should be fully charged in 20 minutes. So. Sakto yan, kung maliligo ka, makain ka, it should be done in about 20 minutes. Lastly, I'd like to talk about EMUI 13, which is the software that powers the Huawei Nova 11 Pro and the rest of the phones in the series. Apart from the cleaner and more functional user interface, the new software also packs a new feature that highlights protection, uh, privacy, and security. Now, under Privacy Center, makikita nyo na the phone will smartly advise you to turn off related permissions na usually hindi kailangan when using certain applications. Crucial yan, and minsan we just simply allow all permissions to applications kahit hindi naman kailangan when installing them. Meron ding feature under Security Center where makikita mo no, ang status ng device in real time. And it checks for virus, uh, spam, and even protects you from paying uh, in some place to certain uh, applications and sites with your phone. At syempre, huwag natin kalimutan ng App Gallery which basically empowers the phone by giving you options to download top applications. With App Gallery, I was able to natively and securely downloaded a PPI Mobile App, League of Legends Wild Rift, and Roblox. Straight from App Gallery, ang pag-download ng mga apps ito, and I didn't have any issues using them on the Nova 11 Pro. Now, just in case you're wondering, this is the case as well on the Nova 11 and Nova 11i, which I am now about to briefly talk about. Now here's a table of specifications in case you're curious about the differences among the Nova 11 phones. We have a full breakdown of these features on our website at Gadget Pilipinas. You can also pause, no? pause this video and take a screenshot for easy reference. But to highlight the ones I like no, on each variant, I honestly like the uh, flat design on the Nova 11. It makes it more sleek no, and comfortable to hold. It packs a 60 megapixel front ultra wide ported camera and 50 megapixel ultra vision rear camera found on the Nova 11 Pro, which further gives better value for your money. You gotta take note though that in terms of cameras, the Nova 11 Pro has two or dual front cameras and the Nova 11 only has a single 60 megapixel front camera. Now, before I forget, the Nova 11 supports 66 watts Huawei Supercharge. Now, on the other hand, the Nova 11i features 40 watts Huawei Supercharge Turbo, a stunning 6.8 Huawei full view display, 16 megapixel selfie camera, and 48 megapixel rear camera with f1.8 aperture. Now, for the curious, here are some sample photos that compare the quality of shots with the Nova 11 and Nova 11i. You can find more of these photos on our website at Gadget Filipinas.
So what are my key takeaways from each devices? Nova 11 Pro is uh, obviously the best in the series and currently holds the best selfie camera at its price point, at least for the time being. Nova 11 is the next best pick with its flagship features in a compact and sleek build. Lastly, the Nova 11i has the best features that can keep up in the competition. There is definitely a Nova 11 that suits your style, needs, and budget. This is not you know, our full review of these devices. We definitely have more things to say about these devices. You know? There are lots to cover and things to wrap around. I highly encourage you to check out our website at Gadget Pilipinas. The Huawei Nova 11 Pro costs 33,999, while the Nova 11 and Nova 11i retails for 24,999 and 13,999 respectively. There is also an online exclusive Nova 11i with lower storage configuration that only costs 11,999. You can also check Huawei's and our website now if you're watching this before or during the pre-order period to know more about their early bird and pre-order bonuses. As usual, links are in the description below. Just don't forget two dates when the pre-order starts per platform. It will be June 21 on TikTok and then June 23 on Huawei Store, Shopee, at saka sa Lazada. Right? Now, thank you so much guys now for watching. Uh, this has been GN of Gadget Pilipinas. Sana nag-enjoy kayo sa video na to at natutunan nyo yung mga bagong features ng bagong Nova 11 series. For more tech news, reviews, gaming consoles and devices, and build guides, tune here at Gadget Pilipinas.